Welcome to our course, of Robot 2016 Level 4, for Seismic and Modal Spectrum Analysis and Steel Structures. During this course we'll focus on the design and analysis of complex structures, which and do their design, may present several instabilities. Structures, which simultaneously, will be designed through Revit architecture, translated into Revit structure, and finally exported to Robot Structural to perform its proper calculation. For instance, for a model such as this, and which present a bridge-like structure supported by two columns. So, this type of creative structure that will come across time to time, will require of a series of additional calculations, considerations, and so on. And during this course, we'll work precisely with these type of structures subjecting them to multiple load cases and combinations, static and dynamic load cases. So we can then validate them, determining the design of their different sections and of course connections. For instance, looking again at this model, and as we said, we count with an area in which the design of the respective steel, will be critical. Since and if we move on, we can find an important deformation in such area for the first load case, or that corresponding to the dead load of the building. Of course, this deformation it's being exaggerated by the scale, but it quickly permits us to identify the most critical parts of the structure. Moreover, here we can find a series of load cases and combinations that we've already assigned to the building, such as the dynamic load case corresponding to a seismic load, as well as those of the wind load. Let's continue, and for instance, here we find precisely a wind load simulation, and whose deformations are being exaggerated by the current scale, so we can quickly identify the most critical parts of the structure. Now for that matter, it's not just about subjecting this building to a random wind direction, but to properly determine the multiple directions and wind speeds of the geographical area in which the project is located. And for that purpose, we might get all the proper values from the studies performed by Revit Architecture, finding all the precise information from the region in which the project is supposed to be placed, instead of using any random values. Since Revit Architecture will indeed provide us with the proper wind directions, not only for a particular location, but for a specific time of the year. But moving on, next we find a second simulation, now corresponding to the building being affected by a seismic load, in this case, on the x-axis direction. Although we might assign seismic loads in any given direction. But most importantly, we'll focus on obtaining a seismic resistant design for this type of steel structures. And of course for diverse load cases and combinations, including those of the wind, accidental, and moving loads, and for both the ULS and the SLS. Since Robot, presents the advantage of displaying clear graphical results, permitting us to quickly identify all the potential issues in the structure, so we may then perform all the proper adjustments. For instance, we might verify if the sections are correct for all the load cases and combinations, and for both cold, and hot rolled profiles of columns, beams, and so on. Moreover, and beyond the sections, will perform a verification of the connections for all the design loads and internal forces. Something for which the program is quite useful, since it will quickly permit us to identify the most critical nodes in the structure, finding all the shear forces, stresses, and deformations, clearly showing us if the connection is valid or not. So we can then achieve the most efficient design, in terms of both safety and economy. And of course, according to the ruling design code, Nonetheless, we'll observe not only the connections between sections, but also those corresponding to the foundations. Finding now two main aspects to consider. First and to begin with, that the connection is sufficient for all the load cases, combinations, shear and bending moments. And second, that the foundation itself is capable of bearing the weight of the structure. And which could be achieved in several ways, using diverse types of footings but most commonly and for this type of buildings, a depth foundation based on piles. And for which it will be required to verify the punching effect existing between the foundation piles and the steel structure, as well as the one of the steel structure over the piles. In either case the program will perform the proper analysis and validation of the system, and for all the load cases, combinations, and internal forces occurring in the connection. And during this course, will guide you step by step so you can perform such procedure with whole precision, 
thus obtaining a seismic resistance structure. Procedure that you may apply to several type of complex structures, including for those which are considered to be unstable. Finally, and besides observing the translation of the project from Revit structure to robot, we'll see, and once all the analyses have been performed, how to import the structure back into Revit, so you may realize all the proper adjustments on the architectural model. Thus obtaining a fully integrated BIM system. These are then the subjects that we'll cover in this course of Robot Structural Analysis Professional, 2016 Level 4, for seismic and modal spectrum analysis in steel structures. Moreover, through our support center, you'll count with the assistance of experts while you study and practice, so you apply your new skills to your own projects without limits. See you soon.